I'm Dr. Ralph Chu. I'm an eclipse chaser who's seen around 25 solar eclipses, including 18 total eclipses. What I'd like to do today is to show you how to use a solar eclipse viewer or solar eclipse glasses safely. Solar eclipse glasses and viewers are available on the internet nowadays, uh, and it's fairly easy to get them even towards uh, the last few weeks uh, before the eclipse. Here's a good example of uh, one product that is being sold right now. It has a cardboard mounting with the black polymer lenses inside it, and it just slips on in front of your glasses or contact lenses if you need corrective lenses. And what you do, is, as I'm doing now, you put them on before you look at the sun, and then look up to see what's going on. And uh, again, doing it that way makes sure you're not going to get the bright sun into your eyes and uh, keeps you safe. The solar eclipse glasses also come in a slightly different variety. Uh, here's another example that has what we call aluminized polyester lenses. So it's a thin film of aluminum coated uh, film that does the same job as the black polymer. And uh, again, you can take either type of these uh, eclipse glasses. They work perfectly well, and uh, you can enjoy looking at the uh, sun through them. Uh, the difference is that this one will give you a sort of a blue-white image, whereas the black polymer gives you a dark orange color sun, which sometimes is a little bit more pleasing to the eye. We also have this type of viewer available, where instead of having uh, sort of an eyeglass-shaped mounting, you just have this uh, one lens in a straight cardboard mount. And again, with this one, just put it up in front of your eyes and then look towards the sun. And uh, again, very, very easy to use and uh, very, very safe. A more recent um, innovation from some of the uh, suppliers is a designer solar eclipse glass, which has a very sturdy plastic frame and the black polymer is a more rigid material. So it might last a little bit longer and certainly uh, it might fit a little bit easier and I can put these on in front of my glasses as well and again look up towards the sun. So again a very nice product to use. All of these are available from uh, various uh, places on the internet and you can probably still get them uh, up until about uh, maybe a week before the eclipse happens because the, de uh, the demand is going to be pretty high. One of the things that you should remember about these devices is that if you're going to buy them to uh, use with kids, uh, you really need to supervise the kids very, very closely to make sure that they use the eclipse glasses properly. And um, again, that's really important because kids have a small attention span and you've got to make sure that they are uh, being safe uh, during the course of the eclipse. Uh, the other thing is uh, there's some concerns about forgeries. Uh, there's a lot of uh, product out there that may not actually be proper, uh, even though they're pro uh, they look like they're labeled uh, with compliance uh, markings. So if there's any doubt, ask the, uh, uh, the sales uh, site if they have any kind of proof that the viewers have been properly tested uh, for compliance with the ISO standard. Uh, again, it's really important to get stuff that is legitimate, that is genuine, uh, that will actually be safe uh, when used. Uh, other than that, I think um, at this point all we can do is just uh, look forward to a clear sky on eclipse day, use the viewers appropriately, and um, hopefully everybody enjoys the eclipse. So Dr. Ralph Chu here wishing you success on Eclipse Day.